Hi guys, Faunarina here. This is Nick and you're watching our video preview of the Samsung Galaxy W. What we have here is a prototype version of the smartphone which we are about to examine in detail. In terms of specs, the smartphone stands in the upper mid-range of Samsung's current portfolio with its 1.4 GHz single-core processor, 3.7-inch wide VGA display and 14.4 megabit HSPA radio. A couple of cameras are also on board, a 5 megapixel main one accompanied by an LED flash and a front facing shooter for video chats. Our first impression from the Samsung Galaxy W is that it looks kind of cheap, almost like a plastic toy, as if its designers have prioritized functionality over looks. As a result, the Samsung Galaxy W lacks the visual appeal that would grab the attention of a potential customer when holding the device in their hand for the first time. On the other hand, the all-plastic body of the Galaxy W has a soft touch finish added to it and its back cover sports a nice texture pattern. All of these design touches add some extra grip and make it pretty comfortable to hold. On top of that, the smartphone's dimensions make it pretty comfortable to use with a single hand and all of its buttons are easy to find with your thumb. What we have on the smartphone's front is a 3.7 inch display packing a resolution of 480 by 800 pixels, which is pretty good for a display of this size. Graphics look pretty detailed and colors are very accurate, but let us not forget that this is just a prototype unit, so Samsung may choose to go with a different one for the finalized model. Still, we hope that the final version will have a display which is pretty much similar or why not even better than the display on this prototype unit here. The Samsung Galaxy W comes with Android 2.3.4 Gingerbread out of the box, which has been customized with the manufacturer's very own TouchWiz 4.0 interface. All icons have been beautifully drawn, you get a lot of software preloaded, and there's a whole bunch of useful widgets that can enhance the Android experience even further. Of course, you get up to seven customizable home screens and the familiar grid light application list that everybody knows and loves. The 1.4 GHz single core chipset ticking inside handles navigation and kinetic scrolling with ease, despite the fact that we are playing with a prototype unit here. Using the on-screen keyboard on the Galaxy W is more than a pleasure as it is very responsive and neatly aligned. Speed typing shouldn't be a problem, especially when using the smartphone in landscape mode. Samsung has added a whole bunch of handy applications, including its very own social hub app, which takes care of all your social networking needs. The app has been overhauled and now combines social networking, email, texting and instant messaging under one roof. Game Hub is also present for the times when you're feeling bored. The games that it offers are socially oriented and feature online multiplayer with players from all over the world. The Music Hub application has also been thrown in the set and lets you download music on the go. Some other tools that need to be mentioned include the Osher application for streaming media wirelessly to a TV with support for DLNA, KSR for transferring music or movies onto the headset from a computer and the other way around, a Polaris Office for viewing and editing documents on the go, and a photo editing application for the times when you're feeling creative. This here may be just a prototype unit, but its web browser works great. Pages load quickly and scrolling is as smooth as it should be. Of course, you get features like pinch to zoom and double tapping to zoom in on paragraphs. Samsung, however, has added a touch of its own. Pinching out gives you a side-by-side -side view of all your open tabs, which is a really neat feature to have. The whole web browsing experience would have not been completed without Adobe Flash support, which renders animations seamlessly and doesn't seem to slow down the browser at all. The camera interface offers a broad selection of shooting modes and scenes, as well as tap to focus, macro mode, and even a blink detection feature. When it comes to taking videos, the Samsung Galaxy W can capture 720p footage at 30 frames per second, which should be good enough for the needs of the average user. When checking out the stock Android Music Player on the Galaxy W, we found out that it supports the FLAC audio format, which means that you can enjoy your tunes without sacrificing audio quality. 
When it comes to video playback, 720p video played seamlessly and the support for DivX format along with MPEG-4 is a feature worth pointing out. To wrap everything up, the Samsung Galaxy W is shaping up to be a very promising device. It comes with great multimedia features, there's a lot of software preloaded and the TouchWiz 4.0 interface beautifies the whole experience. The 3.7 inch display is capable of delivering some eye-pleasing graphics thanks to its high pixel count and on top of that the internet browsing experience is complemented by Adobe Flash support meaning that you can enjoy the web to its fullest. The only thing that we didn't like about the Galaxy W is that it simply lacks the visual appeal necessary to make it stand out of the crowd. It looks just like a black slab of plastic, pretty much like every other mid-range smartphone on the market right now. Of course we will give our final verdict as soon as we get to check out the final version of the smartphone. Once it launches it will be competing against devices such as the Sony Ericsson Xperia Neo and the HTC Desire S which both come in the same form factor and offer a pretty similar set of features. The LG Optimus Black is also a worthy contender as it does not lag too far behind in terms of performance but grabs the attention with its beautiful display and slim profile. Another alternative would be the upcoming LG Optimus Soul which will come equipped with a AMOLED display and will bear a pretty reasonable price tag. Thank you for watching our video preview of the Samsung Galaxy W. This is Nick and if you'd like to check out the latest from the smartphone world or if you'd like to see some of our latest smartphone reviews, check out our website phonearena.com. Thank you for watching.